Hello, in this video I would like to tell about how to create data relationships in Contact Builder. So, what are data relationships? There are four main ways to define the relationship between data extensions in Contact Builder in order to uh, create a certain connection between the data. So in order to do this, you need to go to data designer in contact filter. And here we are in the email data. And in this example, I'm going to show a one to one relationship. Uh, one to one relationship indicates that the data extensions relate to each other based on a primary key, meaning a single piece of information. For example, it can be a mobile number or an email address of a subscriber. So in our example, we're going to create a one-to-one -one relationship based on um, ID, meaning contact ID. So here we already have a data extension called contact student, and we're going to create a data relationship by pressing here, add relationship, and choosing data extension. So I would like to find a data extension called subscriptions, where I also have a contact ID that is will be similar to this. So I click on ID in the contact students DE and contact ID in subscriptions DE and the relationship is created. Here we are notified that this is a one to one relationship and press save. So now our two data extensions are connected via ID and you can see it by hovering over on this uh, linking icon. If you would like to uh, remove this relationship, how do you do that? You press on this icon and then just deselect the relationship and press save again. and our relationship disappears. So that's it for today's video of data relationships and how to create a one-to-one -one relationship in Data Designer in Contact Builder. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.